Uh, good day, it's Adam. Um, just due to some of the comments on some of the posts that I've done, um, I've noticed a few people have a few questions about um, the way I do some of the songs, like the use of a capo and uh, um, my strumming or picking technique. Um, so this uh, is sort of just a base, basic tutorial, just going over some of the things that I do. I by no means um, espouse to be um, an awesome guitarist. Um, I see my role more as a, a worship leader in our church um, and so what I try to do on the guitar is as simple um, and as clear as possible so that the focus is on the words and praising uh, our great God uh, through song um, to lead the congregation in singing. Uh, so the guitar is really just a support uh, to me as I try and do that uh, just as a way to help the congregation uh, to sing. Uh, so when I use a capo it's basically just to put a song into a form that is easy to play without having to think too hard about it so that I can concentrate on leading. Um, but in case you don't have a capo, then if you're a guitarist, then I strongly recommend you get one because it means that you have to, you can minimize all those uh, bar chords that you use um, to play bar chords instead of having to keep using your finger to be the new nut on your guitar. Um, the capo will do that job and then you can um, put it in all different keys. Also find a key that best suits your voice if you're leading. Um, so this is a capo I just bought. This is a $40 capo. You can, um, uh, this is pretty cool because it links uh, the Kaiser sort of spring-loaded capo um, that can easily clip on with the um, the other type um, chub, I think, capo which has the um, tension control. Um, so this was about 40 bucks. That's in Australia. Um, you know, the Kaiser Capo is the one you often see that they clip on the top, um, also pretty cool. The good thing about those ones is that they can just clip on pretty easy to form the nut for your chord. Um, so to give you sort of a base idea, I don't want to go into too much detail, but if you're playing a, a song in the key of G and you just find it's a bit low for you, then what you can do is put this capo on, either the first fret or the second fret, the third fret, whatever you choose. Um, but if you put it on the second fret, you play a G. It's now moved up two positions, which is um, each fret is a semitone. You've moved up two semitones or a full tone. Now that means it's gone from an, uh, a G, it's gone past G sharp, and now you're actually on an A chord. So you notice that note there on the fifth fret on the top E string is an A note, but now it's your bass note for your G. So you can actually play a song in the key of A, even though you're using the, the, the G chord as your bass chord. That means all those other chords that fit into the key of G, E minor, C, D, all those chords now can be used just as easily, but instead of it being in the key of G, it's now in the key of A. So if you find yourself having to play along with a song that's in the key of A, put on a capo on the second fret, play it in G, and see if you can, you know, feel your way through it and, uh, and learn a song. So that's how to, um, how to use a capo.